a new spirit of cooperation between unions and employers during this crisis, which is widely accepted by most economic commentators. Well, largely because of the reforms that have been brought in previously well, under workforce. No, I don't think so. Largely More flexible because, well, labour market. Largely because um, unions' main priority is ensuring that our members' job security is number one. Which is a difference to the previous recession. They wouldn't have done this in the okay. bad old days. Absolutely. But oh, I... the point is we're not going back to the bad old days. We're actually doing things differently now, Michael. Gentlemen, Helen? I'd love to let you continue having this argument. We are just about out of time. Julia Irwin uh, had a big spray at the Labor Party last night. Uh, she's uh, not going to recontest the seat of Fowler. Fowler. Yeah. Fowler. Uh, uh, has she got a point about the factional um, internal workings of the Labor Party and it's time for her to get out because you're all, you know... Too, well, it's definitely too, time too for Julia call. Irwin to get out. She should have got out uh, before she even got in. Um, I mean, she, she has made no impact on policy. She's made no impact on her electorate. Um, the only intervention she's had is some very dangerous and scaremongering interventions into foreign policy with some of her, I think, abhorrent comments on the uh, Palestine-Israel debate. Uh, ironically, she's biting the hand that fed her for so long because she's a creation of the machine. The machine kept her for a long period of time because she was quiet and easy to look after. But uh, see you later, Julia. Uh, she won't be missed by me, she won't be missed by her party, or won't be missed by her electorate at all. Uh, Paul Keating also made some, some comments uh, last week, and, and I see Brian Burke uh, remarkably has supported Paul Keating in saying that uh, a lot of the Labor Party, the modern Labor Party, is more interested in polling and uh, power than it is in policy. There's, there's some people in the Labor Party that certainly would fall into that category, but there's a lot of people that don't. I mean, you know, parties are... Uh, have this nature and so does the Liberal Party. There are some people that are careerists that are just uh, out there to uh, feather their own nest, but there are people in there that are genuinely interested in debate, genuinely interested in big reform. Stephen Conroy today uh, with his announcement, this is substantial changes for the Australian people and I don't accept these arguments that uh, simply because they're not there anymore that everyone that comes after them is uh, not as good as they were. I'm uh, very sorry to say this, but we are completely out of time, and I'm sorry, Michael Stutchbury, but thank you very much for joining us. And Paul House from the AWU, thank you for joining thank us. You. And uh, that's all for this edition of Playing Politics. Don't forget PM Agenda at 4.15 Eastern Time. I'm Helen McCabe. Thanks for your company. The latest Sky News is next.